Aftab Alam against Gulbadin Naib. That's well bowled. Skipped it to only one run. The man at the deep extra cover comes forward to field it and keeps it to only one. Aftab Alam against Hazratullah Zazai. Another five deliveries. 12 runs needed to win 11 for another super over. Well, I think it's not difficult. I still feel that Boost defenders have it under control. But yes, it was a good start. Only a single of the first. Now with the left-hander on strike. The field doesn't change much. The deep mid-wicket goes out. Square leg and find long on. And a deep cover on the offside. In fact, find leg comes into the circle. So don't expect too much of pace on the ball. You'll be looking to take pace off. And you, you'll be looking to bowl straight. You're not going to give the batter any width. You know, I like the fact that he's got a deep backward point. What are we seeing? Aftab Alam after a brilliant delivery. Have we got another run out? Picked up the ball, ran towards the stump. Hazratullah Sasai, it happens when you try and hit a shot, you miss it. You don't know where the ball is got. You start running all of a sudden. And he's lost his wicket in the process. Well, I think after Balam did everything right there. He bowled straight and he took his time over that. He was not in a hurry to underarm. He got as close as possible and within striking range. Well, a precious dot ball. It's more than the wicket, it's the precious dot ball. Now, don't forget, all our viewers need to know that if they lose one more wicket, they're all out. So, the uh, boost uh, defenders will have to be very mindful of that. Can't afford to lose another one. <coughs> well said, Roshan. As for the rules are concerned, only two batters can bat inside the super over. The boost defenders have already lost one wicket. They can only lose another. Najibullah Zadran has been sent out. We saw in the first game, he finished the game. And one boost defenders. Can he do it today? Another 12 runs needed of four deliveries. Aftab Alam, brilliant bowling, wonderful game awareness and affecting a run out. Down towards backwards square leg. That's four. That's a welcome boundary. They needed it. Down to eight of three. Well, I was not expecting after Balam to bowl that line. They don't have a man behind square leg. You had to be straight. Not on the leg stump. Yeah, that was midland leg. Yeah, well picked by Najibullah Sadran. A good attempt, but the ball had already run to the boundary. Eight needed of another three deliveries. Now this is a crucial delivery. Every ball is going to be crucial, but this is really crucial. Field doesn't change at all. What will he do here after Balam? Again, four. I told you. Very, very important that you hold your line. It's going to run off edges. And Najibullah has enough experience. Well, luck on the side of Najibullah. The fielder was inside the circle. So no fine leg. And it will run down to the boundary. So two back-to-back -back boundaries have really eased the pressure now. Luck favours the brave. Well, absolutely. Four runs needed of two. Who is the bravest that the luck will favour now? After Balam or Najibullah Zatan? Remember, one wicket down, the game is over. One boundary and Boost have won the match. As far as I'm concerned, it is for the Boost defenders to lose here. Four of two is not difficult. You could see that uh, Bande Amir is a little bit rattled at the moment. Bold, bold, bold. They'll want two, they'll want two. They're running two. Oh, poor cricket. We'll give him the extra run. That is really poor cricket. And the scores are level. You think another super over? Wow, what are we seeing out here in Kabul? 
This is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Poor field in effort. Gives away an extra run. It is come down to two runs of the last ball. Roshan. Will we get to see another super over? Good question. Wasn't it four of two? They ran three. So it should be one run of one ball. That's my calculation. Yeah, he was gone. He was gone. Had that been collected, he was gone. Not run out. Short runs. Give the ball short is run. not, not in the fielder's hand. So that is the problem. Before, before this one. I think the scores are level. You're right. First yes. run yes. of Kareem Janat. And then two boundaries. That makes it nine. And then three run. That makes it 12. Yeah, they had. They needed four of, four of two. They've got three of So one. they need just one of the last ball. If they miss, it'll be another super over. Let's look at this. Okay. How about Najib? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, looks fine. Looks fine. I think he's... Uh, He's within the guidelines. That's right. His bat is past the line. Well, to me, it looks good, Roshan. Well, on what I see, it looks good to me as well. He seemed to have uh, had something behind the line as he creased his bat. Aftab Alam misses a run out. They should be needing only one if they have run three. That the confirmation will come to us from the TV umpire. He's looking... On to this, seeing if there is any short run run. We'll just get to see another confirmation from another angle. So this is it. Najibullah Zadran's bat. And if it is behind the line, which to me looks to be absolutely fine. So they have run three because of that overthrow. Now what happened was they missed a run out. They gave away an extra run. We have seen everything today, Roshan. It has to be one run. To me, it has to be one run because that looked uh, perfectly well done by the batter. He had he had ensured that he had this had his bat behind the, the line, so he's fine. Yeah. So it's the last ball. If they miss, they will try and run hard, and they can win. But if for whatever reason they cannot get that one run, there is going to be another super over. Feeling hungry? Okay, I'm, I'm not hungry. I've forgotten the hunger because it's such an exciting game. Oh, for a moment I was thinking it was Aftab Alam who missed the run out. Actually, he went, he ran after the ball to bring it and send it to Hashmatullah Shahidi, the skipper. So the skipper Hashmatullah Shahidi missing that run out. We'll have to wait and hear the confirmation from the TV umpire for three run that will equal the number of runs that the Bande Amir Dragon scored. So there we are. Now, what happened? We need to see a change. So, did he signal one short? That's the question. I, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah, so now there's only one run required. Yes, that's what we were thinking. Yes. One of one. That's, that's the correct equation. You need one run of one ball. You know, there was a little bit of suspense from the graphic guy as well. Just telling you, what if it is four runs of two balls? What if it is two runs of one ball? But the reality is it is just one of the last ball. And Gulbadi Naib is on the strike. Can he steal a single or can he hit a shot? Now look at the field. They've all come in, which is the right thing to do. No point uh, defending boundaries. All of them in the 30-yard circle. Last ball. And well, they're running. They're running. Will this be a run out? Oh, no. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. He's asking for obstruction. I don't think it's an obstruction. He has not. He has not deviated from his running line. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, we got ourselves an appeal at least. After Balam making that appeal because he's saying that there was an obstruction field. And remember, if the umpire decide that there was an obstruction field, can be given a run out. So let's have a look at it. See, uh, the key here is to watch whether the batsman changed his direction. The batter did not change his direction as far as I could see. You can't say it here. He can't even see where the ball is coming from. So, so he's just so running his he's just running his line. No, you need you need a more front on you need a more front on version. And you will be you can be considered obstructing. No not this. No no this is not going to tell us anything at all. That's not a no ball if that's what they're checking. See the key to watch here is, did Gulbadi Naib change direction as he ran? 
or was he running in the same direction he started? If he was running the same direction, I think there is no obstruction at all. You know, in that frame, there's one another interesting thing. Najib was already out of his crease. He could man get him. He could get him out. Still a rule. No, no, this is not the angle we're looking for. This is definitely not the angle we're looking for. We're looking for a more front-on angle. That is the thing that... Ah, now this is better. Now keep an eye on Gulbadin Naib. Now keep an eye on him. Did he change direction? No. As far as I'm concerned, he did not change the direction. He was running in his, his area. He was running in the direction he would always run. So I can't okay, see I'm it as an obstruction. My decision for big screen... Another decision for the TV umpire to make. We have kept TV umpires so busy today. Checking out wides and all the other stuff. This is not out. And Boost Defenders win this Super Over. I like your conviction. You believed from the beginning that 12 runs in an over can easily be achieved. And they have been. Boost Defenders remain undefeated. And Bande Amir Dragons lose their first one. <laughs> There's exchange of words between Aftab Alam and Gulbadin Nayib. It's just the heat of the moment. But Gulbadin Nayib looks very happy and should be because Boost defenders have won this match out of nowhere. I don't think Gulbadin Nayib did anything wrong. There was nothing wrong in what he did. Yes, <laughs> that's his signature celebration. Gulbadin Nayib, yes. That's his celebration. This is his signature celebration, all right? With both arms flexed. That's a good game. Very